Sadi. My name is Veen. We now present our model Geo Photo Player. This manual photo player integrates the logical world of maths with art and craft, environmental science, and their everyday life. Please note, this is a very special photo frame. Its house-shaped structure reminds us of cash moments spent with our family. This frame is designed in a way that we can manually change the display of our photos. Thus, we can revisit our treasure memories at our own pace. Isn't it great? No. Now coming to the construction of the model. A cuboid has been used to hold the photos. Being a 3D shape, it can accommodate multiple pictures. Since each face of a cuboid is a rectangle, it ensures a better display of rectangular or square pictures. The cuboid used here is a waste material in delivery box on Amazon. These empty tissue paper rolls are cylindrical in shape. Slender, a shape with a curved surface, helps in smooth rolling of the photo scroll and change the display easily. Old balls have been used to create these spherical knobs. Having no corners or edges, these are easy to grip. A triangular prism has been used to create the sloping roof. We have studied in environmental science that areas with heavy rainfall or snowfall have houses with sloping roof. No doubt, this frame makes me recall my trips to Shimla and Munali. I made beautiful tessellations of rectangles on the facade of the house. Certain so, 2D shapes such as circle, semicircle, rectangle, and triangle have been used to design the door, windows, curtains, etc. By using waste materials to craft this model, we could apply the three R's, reduce, recycle, and reuse of waste management. Our model is thus environmental friendly with extensive utility. Finally, let's have a complete look at the model. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Today I, Kush Khatri, is going to demonstrate a model which is a candle stand. As you can see, it is made up of only 2D and 3D shapes and the material which I have used to make this is some old CDs, a circular, a circular cardboard, a cylindrical box, some colored sheets and some decoration material which I have taken from an old showpiece. Now coming to mathematical concepts. A CD is a 2D circular shape on which I have pasted two concentric circles. Concentric circles are the circles which have the same center. Now the cylindrical box is a 3D shape with length, width and height. And as you can see it has three different faces. One curved face and two flat faces. It also has two flat and two curved edges and zero vertices. Now coming to its utility, it is a candle stand and can hold many candles as shown here. It not only just serves as a candle stand but makes my room look more beautiful. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Kashmi Tandon. We all are celebrating Maths Week. To honor the birth anniversary of mathematical genius Sri Nivas Ramanujan. As you know, we all are surrounded by a load of trash and crap. Thus, to reduce this waste and to keep our lovely planet greener and cleaner, I have used different type of waste materials to make these useful products. Along with their usefulness, these objects give us so much information and knowledge about 2D and 3D geometrical shapes. Like, I have converted a normal sharpener into a dust collector rocket sharpener. In this I have used conical and cylindrical shapes like wedding card, foil paper rolls and Amazon cardboard boxes. It works like this. like 2D shape like 
bags on cardboard boxes. Oval shaped like disposable spoons for making alien. And conical shape like looter ponds and plastic bottle. So this is a small initiative. But I am hopeful that if we will work together, we can make our earth a happy planet. Thank you and happy maths week. Hello everyone, my name is Kervi and today I am going to my, show my products that I have made for Maths Week activity from waste materials. So, first I have made this pen holder. This pen holder I have made from bangles. These bangles were a waste for my mom, so I took it for this project. The bangles are two dimensional because they are in a circle, but the pen holder is three dimensional because this is cylindrical in shape. Then I have made a candle stand. Here also I have used some bangles and decorative item. Now I will show it with burning candle inside it. See. Next I have made a wall hanging decorative item. I have used some bangles and a small mirror inside it. This mirror was a part of another decorative item so I took it for this project. I will use this wall hanging decorative item and this candle stand for my terrace to decorate it. Here also you can see some figures. Cone, circle, rectangle, circle, cylindrical, cube, cuboid and pyramid. I have used these spectacles. I have made these spectacles from toothpicks. And these are bottle caps. Thank you. Hello everyone. For the maths activity, I would like to showcase three items which have been made from recycled material. This is an old bottle. It is a cylindrical shape. A cylinder has three faces and two edges. I have used mandala art to decorate the space. Mandala is a Sanskrit word which means circle. Mandala art that you can see here is a pattern which has been created with small circular dots. This can be used as a planter to keep money plants. This is an old tile. It is a hexagonal shape. An hexagon has six sides. I have also used mandala art patterns to decorate the space. This can be used as a coaster. This is a pen pencil stand. This has been made from old colored paper. This is a cylindrical shape. There are five triangular sections to keep pens and pencils. I hope you liked my ideas. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Sachin Sachdev and today I am going to present my math model to you. This is my math model. It is a 3-in-1 pen holder. The shape that I have used is a cube for base and cuboids. So, the material I used are cardboard boxes and a sweet box. The usage of pen holders are you can put your material in this. Like for example, I put my scissors, pens and pencils. So it is very useful during these days because when you used to go to school, you used a pencil box. But now it's online studies. So you can use your pen holders. Thank you. Good morning my dear friends and my respected teacher. Today I, Naman Kaushik from 4th G, will tell you about my balloon car. First I will tell you what waste material I have used. I have for base, I have used a rectangular shaped cardboard. For the wheels, I have used circular, uh, circular bottle caps 
and the straw is in the cylindrical shape now i will explain you how it works first we have to blow air from this straw and it goes to balloon and then we have to leave it on the flat surface and it will move now i will show you how it works good morning ma'am and my dear friends today i am going to tell you about my model that is the robotic hand the shapes i have used are rectangle circle triangle semicircle cylinder and cuboid rectangle as you can see most of the hand is made of rectangle rectangle is a 2d shape with four corners and four sides for decoration i have used circle circle is a 2d shape and it is a closed shape triangle triangle is a 2d shape with three sides and three corners semicircle semicircle is also a 2d shape but is half a circle cylinder cylinder is a 3d shape with two edges zero vertices cuboid cuboid is a 3d shape with six faces 12 edges and eight corners the waste materials i have used are uh, cardboard this is an part of my old toy these are papers and these are uh, used straws if we computerize it it can be helpful for disabled people the daily life use of it is if something is kept far from me and i cannot reach it and i want it so from the help of this robotic hand it can come closer to me thank you what today i have made by bat small i have made two things a cash counter and a lamp shade i have made cash counter from cuboids its real life use is that i will give this to my uncle because he owns a bakery and he needs a cash counter now i will show you my lamp shade my lamp shade is made up of six pentagons and a circle its real life use is that whenever i need to go to bed i'll use this thank you hello everybody my name is jangi i have made this small doll using 2d and 3d shapes i have used waste cardboard and waste plastic bottles i have made this using 2d and 3d shapes like square cylinder and circle and triangle thank you good morning ma'am and my dear friends today i and han husain would like to present my maths 2d 3d model i have made a lamp shade let me show you here it goes the waste materials which i have used to make my model are pastry box plastic sheet electric wire bulb holder clay balls and dies the 3d shapes which i have used to make my model are cuboid in the form of pastry box sphere in the form of clay balls cube in the form of dice the 2d shapes which i have used to decorate my model are rectangle in the form of plastic sheet triangle circles square thank you ma'am hi respected teacher and my dear friends today i have made a special project for the maths week this is, this jar is shaped cylindrical and before this transformation it was a sugar jar this can be used as a pencil stand or a pen stand i made another project 
and this is a called a cotton swab dispenser it has a cylindrical shape and if you pull one of the cotton swabs out the other one is already ready to use good morning all this is a weather station by using the information provided by it and by applying certain mathematical principles we can calculate an accurate picture of the prevailing weather the weather station has a wind vane that is shaped of an arrow which we use in our daily life while calculating mathematical problems as implies to a wind vane tells us the wind direction it also has an anemometer which is shaped of a hollow hemisphere it tells us the wind speed wind speed is a scalar quantity that has magnitude that is numbers but it has no direction when we add direction to it we get to know wind velocity wind velocity is a vector quantity that has both magnitude and direction therefore this is proven to be more useful for the pilots of moving ships and planes we can calculate speed by dividing the distance traveled by the time taken i have pulled out both of these from an old mechanic set This is a thermometer which is shaped of a cuboid which has six faces It measures atmospheric temperature temperature in fahrenheit is calculated by multiplying the centigrade temperature by 1.8 and adding 32 to it This is a rain gauge It is of a cylindrical shape. It collects rainwater and using this we can calculate the extent of rainfall that day. I have pulled out both of these from an old physics set. This is a compass which tells us which direction is which from four directions north, east, south and west i have pulled it out from an old and used pencil box i have used an old glass bottle